Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. We're following several breaking stories, including the city of Chicago about to go on a hiring spree. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kosloff live at City Hall with what she's learning about hundreds of new contact tracing jobs. Dana. Erica, the city will be getting millions of dollars to hire 600 new contact tracers. If you don't know, contact tracers are responsible for trying to track down anybody a COVID-19 patient has come into contact with. The mayor says those contact tracers won't only help slow down the spread of the disease, but hopefully they'll be able to use those new skills and apply them to future careers, possibly even in the healthcare industry. One of the most important weapons that we have in this fight is contact tracing. And Mayor Lori Lightfoot says Chicago now has 56 million more dollars to help do it. The money from both the Centers for Disease Control and the Illinois Department of Public Health will be given to 30 local organizations to lead the contact tracing effort. That includes hiring 600 new contact tracers and supervisors from mostly economically challenged neighborhoods and areas hit hardest by COVID-19, including Black and Latinx areas. The new folks that will be coming yeah. through this RFP, just with the, the timing of how it works, we've basically, you know, this, this RFP is for um, the overarching organization who will then be working with uh, 30 subdelegates. So we've put August 1st as kind of the first deadline. Dr. Allison Arwoody and the mayor say contact tracers will make $20 an hour, supervisors $24 an hour. No prior experience or education is required and all who take part will be trained not only in the skills needed to contact trace, but the attitude as well. Really what you have to have is a, a passion um, and you have to be emphatic. You, these contact tracers are going to be calling people with information that's going to be frightening and scary to them. And so being a person who recognizes that and understands that they have to treat the person on the other on the uh, end of the phone with care and with dignity. The mayor says the RFP is active right now, but you can't apply yet. First, these organizations have to be chosen, and then people can apply for these 600 jobs very soon, hopefully in the next couple of months. Live outside Chicago City Hall, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.